Hello, this is Bob with a 2013 Nissan Leaf and you're staring into the charge port of that vehicle. And then you're also used to a J1772 plug to charge it. This is what they should look like. Hold that thought. And this is what that J1772 plug is not supposed to look like and what the charge port is not supposed to look like. You'll notice the piece of metal in the burned area right here in the top right of the corner. That piece of metal has actually come off from the J1772 plug. Now this is after eight years of conscientious use charging not just a um, leaf but also eventually a Chevy Bolt and another Chevy Bolt that's my brother's and a Tesla that's my sister's but the latter two vehicles only on occasion. So, um, what is the necessary repair when that takes place? What can you expect if this happens to your vehicle? This is likely where it took place is on the black connector. For an, election, uh, an electrician to put on a new handle like this is going to set you back probably about $180. Um, you can do it yourself. There's six Torx screws right here to take out. And uh, other than that, it's just a matter of soldering in your connections and cutting rather carefully so that you have enough room for the um, metal stay that's on the inside and so on. This is what that looks like on the inside. You can see there's a micro switch right here that's going to press against the handle. That's what signals the car that you can go ahead and send 32 amps of current to it and start charging it. Um, on the flip side, this is going to be a beast. Your Nissan dealer is going to tell you that it's $1,800 to put in this new charge port that we were talking about because it snakes back to the power distribution port, uh, power distribution unit, which is the big silver box underneath your hood, and they're going to need to lift the cover on that. Um, it's not a huge undertaking. It's a gross extra charge, um, as near as I can tell. I can't imagine that it actually did take a full eight hours to replace this bad boy, but that's what I was charged for, is $1,800 by Nissan. Um, if you take a look at the actual steps that it takes, shutting off the main circuit breaker and so on, it's not a complicated effort. But as a result, uh, if you have that burning take place, and you can smell it and so on, you could be up for as much as $2,000 in total costs. And that's why I'm hoping it doesn't happen to you. Happy driving um, and uh, happy charging, more importantly.